Hey guys, Neha here, and uh, joining me today is Alex, aka HD. Uh, okay, first of all, what does HD mean? Where did that handle come from? Well, it actually came from back in the days when I was a Brood War player and a caster. Um, Brood War was the predecessor to StarCraft II. I chose the name HD because there's a lot of casters back then that didn't have high definition videos. And so I wanted to make high definition videos and I felt like I was one of the first ones out there. How do you really train to do what you do? Well, to be honest, training for StarCraft and casting, it's, uh, it's very different. StarCraft is more about actually sitting down and playing. StarCraft casting is you just sit in front of a microphone and you keep labbing and talking and hopefully people listen to you. How do you keep it interesting and, and how do you make sure that you're actually being someone that people want to listen to instead of just another voice? Well, you want to make sure that you're really exciting when you talk and you put in a lot of energy and you want to make sure that you address the viewers and really get them in, involved in the game and think about how the players are playing. So you really interpret what the players are doing and explain it to the viewers out there. and. Uh, I think a lot of it comes down to having a decent voice as well. Hopefully, right? So You got that radio voice. Uh, I've been told I have an okay voice, so... <laughs> Based on some of the games that you've watched um, outside of the North American server, so that's you know, Korea, Europe, do you think that they're actually good contenders for North America? Well, they're certainly very, very good in uh, South Korea. Um, but I do think North America has a fighting chance and they're definitely getting really, really good in North America. There's a lot of good players coming out here that uh, really are stepping up to the plate and I think it's going to be quite the battle. What really drives you to uh, be a pro commentator? Like, what do you get out of it? Well, casting games for me is really enjoyable. I love to play, but I also really love watching high-level players. And what better way to improve your own game than to watch high-level players and then also bring it out to the tons and tons of viewers out there. Let's say if I have a friend and they really want to get into StarCraft or, you know, I want, I want them to get into StarCraft. What's the best way to uh, really get them involved? YouTube.com slash HD StarCraft. <laughs> uh, yeah, just get them to uh, watch professional StarCraft games. That's one of the best ways to get involved. That's how I got involved into casting in the first place. So going back to the earlier days of your casting career, you got a lot of recognition. How, do you, how did you gain that type of... Uh, Exposure. I built up for about a year casting Brood War, but I only had maybe around 5,000 to close to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, when StarCraft 2 beta came out, I really started to promote and make more videos and really push content out there. And I guess a lot of people really enjoyed it. So it's kind of grown from there and it really blew up when StarCraft 2 hit the, hit the beta and then of course hit the shelves. All right, well thank you so much for uh, giving us all this great information about you. And I'm sure a lot of people out there are gonna be looking forward to hearing your voice. Uh, you know, commentating on a lot of cool matches coming up.